way out. Yeah, Lord, right. now he's putting in eye drops. I'm so cool. Why? Yeah. Why would he wait till now to put in eye drops? I just what? said I need eye drops now. No. So. Now he's going to be crying all through the... Uh, See? Did you yeah. hear him just sniffle? Oh, the, my little pony ponytail. I know, I literally like could be. The mama comes with the colors and know, stuff. Right? Oh my gosh, mm, it's yeah. a little pony. No, put my hair down, no. Hey guys, welcome to the September 2020 edition of Smash the Crate. This is the monthly series where myself, my mother, my husband try everything in this month's Keto Crate. This month is September and we got some doozies, so let's just hop into it. The first thing we are doing are the beverages. We have a variety of beverages that we're gonna try. The first being this Bright Fox Blueberry plus Vanilla Ooh, Water. Blueberry Vanilla. In an aluminum can, That's feel how cold this still is. Blueberry Vanilla Water. Why do we need blueberry uh, vanilla? But like, can I look yes, at it, it is Yeah, cold. it was, yes, I was like shading it super hard because I'm like, why is there water the in an aluminum can? But it gets the coldest and it's easily recyclable. I mean, so yes, we're cool. all about recycling. Yeah, so I was like, actually, then I can't hate on it at that point. Uh oh, really now really I can't cold. open it. I need a man. I need a man. Oh, I did. Oh, gosh, did you hear that you snap crackle, huh? It. Okay, we're just gonna. Though it definitely smells. Yeah. I don't know if I want my should water you, to Should smell. you shake it up first? Yeah, I don't know. Does it I don't smell? know. The flavor. I don't know if it's like. The yeah, I don't think so. I don't think well, it's. Just don't shake it up, just like rotate it once. Yeah, there you go. There you go. There you go. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. I've know, never right? had blueberry flavored water before. So blueberry vanilla. vanilla. So I know. Don't forget Another about that flavor. Vanilla. That, yeah, I never know. I'm that honestly I've ever had. not like excited about this at all because once again, mm, I, I don't know. need my waters to taste like nothing. Mm, it okay. Looks really clear. It looks like, it looks like water, yeah. which kind of freaks me out. Okay, and go. Nope. No, never need that. No. Nope. Never need that in my life. No Do you thanks. know what that tastes like? No. Nope, that thanks. tastes. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna tell you what it tastes like. Old school back in the days when you didn't have enough sugar for your Kool-Aid packets? You. No. Do you know what it tastes like? And yeah. it just like triggered me? Right. Like colonoscopy prep. Like that's the sort of stuff Ooh, that you have yes. to like mix into. You're right. And then like try to force yourself oh. to not think about it and drink. Like yeah. that's what that reminds me of. What what about your thoughts? Uh, I mean, upon you two listening. Well, I just like, I mean, look, it actually I don't know it actually doesn't taste bad. It just I mean, tastes like sour yeah, water. Yeah, it tastes like it tastes like neutral. Like, yeah, it tastes like it's a neutral sugar. Like a, like a neutralized it, water. It, it, it tastes like it, it tastes like, like exactly Kool Aid without the sugar. It is just the sour packet. Yes. But this even, is exactly Kool Aid tastes better. Though. No, this is exactly what prep tastes like, in my opinion, yeah. and it just brought back such bad yeah. memories. Yeah. I can't. No, this, I, I didn't taste prep. This. Well, have you ever had a colonoscopy? No, I haven't. Exactly. So, oh, that it's brought okay. back. I know. Like, okay. that brought back some yeah. stuff. Uh, well, I'm talking for everybody who hasn't had a colonoscopy. <laughs> you so won't taste the prep in this. <laughs> That's yeah. a tier four for me. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, once again, it's not because the product is bad. It's I personally don't like the and product. And me either, exactly. Yeah. The product, I'm sure, is wonderful for yeah. some, perfect for some folks. Is it, yeah, Richard yeah. is just still drinking and no, trying to figure out how to describe tier, how he doesn't like it. It's a tier like four it. for me, but, but I still give don't me know more. Why. Exactly. <laughs> So the next item we're gonna try actually makes me yeah, a lot more yeah. excited, and it's this pure uh, chocolate drink mix. Okay, so this is a sugar-free chocolate drink mix. Mm. So this is like a chocolate milk, you know, powder that like, like yeah, a Nesquik thing exactly. that you would put into your chocolate milk. Not so Nesquik again. I know, right? Exactly. So <laughs> what it recommends is for you to use a milk alternative of your choice, mm -hmm. like almond milk. But we don't have any regular almond milk. All we have is unsweetened chocolate almond milk. So actually what we're gonna do is like give it a boost. Cause you know, there yes. already is some chocolate flavor in this. But what we're hoping is that this drink mix will make it even chocolatier oh, and yeah. sweeter and more delicious. More all right, exactly. for scientific purposes, mm -hmm. let's all take a taste of this now. That's it, I, I was going to recommend that. Yes. It's to, oh, here, yeah, right. everyone yes. take yes. a sip mm -hmm. of just, and actually this doesn't taste bad. Yeah. I'm like, just gonna say, just so we can understand what this tastes like. Yeah. And then, and then enhance it. That is a wonderful yeah, I was idea, Richard. I, I oh was in gracious. class once upon a time. I was gonna suggest it well too late okay first. regular chocolate almond milk got it i mean super regular yes yeah. 
Yeah, not bad at all. Yes. Super regular. It helps wash away the, <laughs> the blueberry <laughs> sour. Exactly. Yes. Are you on okay. neutral now? Yes. So I have yes. eight ounces of chocolate almond milk. I have. Uh oh. Okay, good. Oh, it's easy to rip. That's nice. good because I feel bad. You're horrible. Yeah, I am bad at ripping. Okay, so I'm just gonna pour the chocolate powder in here. Oh, it's definitely I know. dark. Really cool. Definitely chocolatey. Nice and easy. Yeah. Okay, and now a uh, unexpected treat. For uh, yeah, smash the crate. Right yes, liquid. liquid, eight ounces. This is only for eight ounces. Here so let's go. get ready to shake it in three, two, one. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, here All we right. go. Let's, some let's, of this. Let's, let's give it the good old let's college try. Some of this. Some of this. Did it really this mess thing. with the viscosity or the thickness? Uh, this thickness. Didn't really mess with the thickness, but let's give it a mm -hmm. try. No, it's still the same wateriness. It didn't mess with that, did it? Barely just any different. Right. It changed the flavor a little. Yeah. No. I mean, it didn't do anything. I think it changed it a lot. You think it I don't think it changed no, it a really. lot. I really don't. Either. I think it changed it a very small amount. It made it well, a, a teach. Yeah, I mean, sweeter. a teach. Sweeter yeah. and chocolatier, oh. but like. I mean, I don't know how much that costs, but that's not worth it. I would rather, here's what I would rather do, is just take some unsweetened chocolate milk, add a couple drops of sweetener, there maybe melt some chocolate or put some heavy cream in this. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't, in my opinion, you don't need this. You just need to buy this, yes. you know? So, hmm. So for me, that's a tier three because, like, I'm not throwing this away, but like yeah, I'm not even minus. No, I'm not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll minus? give this a tier two because I did taste the subtle chocolate notes in the back of your tongue a little bit. Like subtle chocolate notes? No. No, I'm Those sorry. Are things. That's Those not are why. Things. That is not why I it's would purchase a tier that powder two for the notes. No, <laughs> tier two for the notes. <laughs> okay. Okay, now we are moving into the food item okay, here we in go. the keto crate. No more beverages. Oh my gosh, the first thing that we're starting with. Well, let's start with just this Tomer Kosher meat stick. Ugh. Okay. I have to taste it first. <gasps> Ew! Oh, it's so tasty. Oh. Uh, <laughs> she can't, can't even break it. It's big. Can't wait. This is gross. That is so tasty. Okay, it's not meat and skinless. Ew. <laughs> you took the feeling out. And I will know. I don't like it. Two thirds. Of it. Okay, let's go. Oh. I mean, it honestly doesn't taste bad. It doesn't meat taste sticky. unlike any other meat stick I've ever yeah, had. It's meat stick. The look to me is completely unappealing. Tier three. Um, this is another two minus for me. Mm mm. It's a. It's a First of all, that's stick. not a thing. Two minus. Um. um two to the it's second. It's a tier hour. two for me. Okay, these are Iota Umami uh, Sunflower Seeds. Mm. Yeah, so I've had these before. They I, you know, but oh we'll gosh. see. What Maybe flavor are they? Umami, which is, oh, okay. just means like savory, oh, gotcha. earthy, oh, and, yes. and unctuous. Like gotcha. Okay. Umami. Ooh, mommy. <laughs> that was brilliant. No. Yuck. Uh, <laughs> no, no. I like it. Okay, let's give these a try. One, two, okay, here we go. Three. Mmm. These don't taste bad. Mmm. Very umami. That's what I'm saying. Very. I don't know if I get the umami. I just get some parsley. Well. Well, not the end. Yeah, that's the end. It's the yeah. unctuousness. Mm -mm. I got it at the end. I don't get it. It doesn't, these don't taste bad at all. Right. I don't know how umami e they are, but um, these are definitely tier two for me. Like, I'd definitely keep these if mm -hmm. I was going on a hike or something like that. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I would love them. They're definitely tier two for me. Yeah. I love umami. <laughs> umami. Mm -hmm. Okay, the next thing we're going to try is, you guys, this Sun Yum Sunflower Seed Dip and uh -oh. Spread. That's uh -oh. too many words. Head in. Okay, this... Mm. Oh, man. I'm Dexter's. assuming it's like hummus, you know, but I'm like, do I miss hummus? I don't know. But I thought this would be also a good time to try these with flackers, which I do know that I am going to oh, love. Oh, wow. Yes, these are just... The wonderful flackers. Yeah, these are just sea salt flackers, so I know I'm going to like these. So the first thing we're going to do is taste the flackers by their lonesome. Okay, so this is a double, a double tip. Yes, these are made to go together. Oh, I love the uniformity 
Look at the oh, uniformity of the flackers. I'm oh, loving it. That so is just square. Is that? That's professionalism right there. Okay, flacker, Very go. Square. Do you eat this whole thing? Or oh, no, God. No, so no, thick. No, 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 no. Honestly, I don't taste the sea salt. Oh, these just taste like... Nope. Like flaxseed. Yeah, these just taste like flaxseeds, mm -hmm. which is not a bad thing to no. me. No. I love flaxseeds. So. I love it's the crunch. It's not bad at all. It tastes like a little multi grain. And these are good. tier two, dare I say tier two plus. See, um, I know, what? because when... How is that possible? When I... I when I receive know. these for free, so I right. always love them. But sometimes if I'm at Whole Foods and I'm just in the mood for flackers or if they're on sale, I will and have bought these with my own money. That's so. beautiful. Okay, so now yes. we're opening up the Sun Yum. Go, oh, go. we're kind of burst. Oh, you guys, this nice. looks like paste. I know. <laughs> no, it's, it's, what was that word? Viscous. viscous. It is very yes. viscous. It is viscous. And this is sunny, uh, or yum yum? Was sun it? yum. Sun Sunflower yum. seed spread. Okay, go. Here we go. I like the spices. Color aside, that's really good. Mm -hmm. What a pleasant surprise. Even though you, your mind tricked you out the whole way. It's, it's salty. Yeah. It is garlicky. It's savory. Yeah. I like it. It's very tasty. Yeah. The spices mm -hmm. like punch you in the nose. Yeah. I like it. That's violet. Yep. Um, I'm sorry, spices. Sun yum, you done good. I mean, yum is a good word. I you. mean, this definitely tastes like a garlic dip. I Damn mean, sun. maybe if you dump this in a more appealing bowl and then put some flackers around it, like presentation wise, but like. You just have to get over it. This your... actually tastes really good. This is definitely a tier two for me. I'm not buying this, mm -hmm. but like. This is good. Like, I would not it be afraid good. to open and Thank consume you, this. Honestly, that's a tier one for me. That's, that's we got to check oh, Amazon. We got to see how much one. these cost because my husband is buying one. them. That's pay. really it's good. It is that tasty. It is that tasty. It is, I mean, it's really good. So, I can't even blame you. Well, I am pleasantly surprised. Thank you, Sunyum. Thank you, Yes, Sun thank you. That was amazing. I will say that the one thing that I do not like is that there are four servings in this, mm. but it is not resealable. Like, you know, like what, are, am I supposed to eat all four servings, which is 440 calories, might I add. Wow. But if I'm not supposed to eat them all in one sitting, then this should be yeah, resealable. That might be like That's all I'm saying. party pack or something. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but honestly, right for party. this is delicious. Yeah. I am no, here for it. So yeah. Delicious. Next, we will have Strive Biltong. Like, this is never as bad as beef sticks to me, so. This like is strips now, right? all dried beef slices. Yeah, see? Yeah. Yeah. That's like just, just a bag yeah. of beef jerky now, instead of a stick. Yeah, it's more like I, slivers and shreds. I am here for all of this. Uh, He's gonna love uh, this. Okay. Go for it. There's, we're taste testing. Okay. Tier two. Tastes like beef. Where's the liquor? It's so chewy! <laughs> I'm noticing. It's a lot more chili than I expected. That's why the, the pieces are so small. I love the saltiness though. I mean, tier two. I'm I'm not throwing that away. I definitely prefer the texture to yes. a meat stick, but it's just not my jam. I'm never gonna reach for this over a quest bar. You know? Mm -hmm. A one minus. Mm -mm. I will. I would say it's a tier two as well. Okay. Just because it's so hard to chew. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Next, we are having the intact crunchy cheese black pepper. I always liken this to moon cheese, even though it is a little bit different. Yes. So I'm interested to see like your take on it. So this is a different type of moon cheese. Yes, this is, mm -hmm. and this is the black pepper flavor. Like definitely, hold up a hold up a piece oh, in front of your sorry. face, and then you can yeah, moon cheese. There you go. Okay, black pepper. Here we go. Mm. The crunch is wonderful. Love the crunch. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I have to agree. That crunch is the rest of the first thing you notice. I love that. If I saw this in the store, it would be a tier one. Like if this was right next to the moon cheese and whole food, mm -hmm. I would definitely buy this. But I don't I haven't seen this in any stores. Comment down below. Do you know if they sell intact in stores? But taste wise, it's definitely a tier one. But since I'm not going out of my way to purchase this, oh yeah. It's a tier two. Mm. I would definitely say tier one as well. I mean now I can it's definitely really taste good. the pepper. That's really good. The next thing we're gonna try is these better than good protein puffs. These are baked mm -hmm. cheddar. Mm -hmm. Richard, I'm hoping these are like the cheese balls that you buy from the store oh, yeah, that aren't keto, that. might I add, but still. Are you the ones that been up there for six months? You still bought them. It doesn't oh, matter how long they sit well, up there. I got that for the nieces and nephews. 
At our house? No, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Keep telling yourself that. No, I can tell this is gonna be. Yeah. This is gonna oh, be an explosion. Okay, it's more like cereal than anything yeah, else. Yeah. So they put this in a bowl. Yeah. These kind of look like kicks with uh, cheese powder on the outside of them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what yeah, we're going. Let's see. Again, crunch is amazing. Mmm. I get really salty. Mmm. -hmm. Mm, but I do get the cheese puff. Mmm. -hmm. I mean, it, it's. Salty more than anything, but I like it. Me too. I like how the flavor goes all the way through. Normally, there's a flavor cliff where you start chewing and you taste the flavor, mm -hmm. and then it immediately drops down, and then you're just chewing on protein. Gotcha. With these, you taste something all the way through. Yes. Oh yeah. Even though that's mostly salt, mm -hmm. it's still cheddar. Yes. I like it. Crunchy. Hmm. Definitely tier two for me. Now I'm excited because we are finally moving to the sweets. Oh my gosh. And the first sweet we are starting with are dang coconut chips. Dang, I can't believe I keep putting dang, dang. chips in the uh, keto crate. Now, these are unsweetened and they're lightly salted, but I put them in the category with the sweets because mm -hmm. coconuts are like naturally, naturally sweet. Exactly. So, okay. Oh my gosh, they smell delicious. Ooh. Okay, let's go. Ready? Mmm. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, I like the crunchy, mm -hmm. coconutty. I like them. I, I honestly like don't them. taste the salt, but they taste yeah. like well, coconuts, and they're so good. I like the fact that even if you don't taste the salt or not, they're so small and so flaky mm -hmm. that it literally like potato chips a little bit. Yeah, mm -hmm. where it's really good. I love it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank dang, you, dang, dang, dang. dang. Mm -hmm. You just keep making good products. Dang. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, next. Mm -hmm. Queen pot. We are having this Jimmy protein bar. Tips. Yeah, this, I don't know. It's just a Jimmy protein Ooh, bar. It is strawberry it is kiwi? It is, no, it's strawberry nut. Nut. Mm. Mm. Oh, Jimmy. Yeah. Come on. First of all, the size of the bar doesn't, in my opinion, First correlate the with the size oh, of no. the packaging. Show that up. Let me it is a tall, slender oh. package in like a short, squatty oh, bar, wow. you know? Mm. And it is crumbling already. I thought I was gonna have to use a knife. And oh, it is wow. also sweating because I'm assuming there's like MCT oil or something. Is that what that does? Yeah, MCT oil makes things Produces oily. condensation yeah. to it. Yeah, well, it's it's not actually water. It oh. is it is MCT oh, oil. So it's so. oily. Yeah, exactly. Interesting. All right. Okay, um, is that chocolate? I don't know. This is chocolate, because I thought it was gonna be strawberry. Yeah, I was gonna ask, what mm -hmm. flavor is it again? It says it's strawberry nut, strawberry nut. but are nuts. these chocolate chips though? Like, I'm trying to, are they red? Say. No, this is chocolate. This is chocolate. Yeah. It does mm. not say anything chocolate, chocolate on the package. Okay. Here we go. Oh, I thought we were eating the whole thing. No, no, it just depends on the size of the bite. That's interesting. Mm. Maybe they made a mistake. Strawberries. See, yeah, why would you call this strawberry nut, yeah, but it clearly be chocolate chip? Yeah. It just say chocolate a little bit bigger on there. Where it doesn't you, say chocolate at all. That's what I'm saying. Like it just say chocolate bar. Period. Yeah, strawberry nut. Yeah, no. Um misleading. I honestly did not mind the taste. I mean it was it was, a, it was it. yeah. It was between a two and a three. You know, I almost was looking forward to another uh, peanut butter and jelly type taste. Yeah, like I mean actually look, I'll give it a tier three only because it does not match the wrapper. Like there's no reason strawberry should be the very first word describing the flavor. Exactly. Strawberry nut. So I would even go with like a chocolate covered yeah. strawberry right. or chocolate nut strawberry. Mm -hmm. Like that's misleading, but honestly, the texture wasn't that bad. The taste wasn't that bad. I don't like oily bars. That's yes. just me, you uh -huh. know. Yeah, I mean, Jimmy, as I expected, regular. Next, we have IQ Bar Almond Butter Chip. So, I better taste almond butter and so maybe there's the some butter. chips. Make our IQ high. Could see the chips already, so that is uh -oh. okay. Uh -oh. This is definitely another one of them chewy, you know, not mm. uh, Does it look oh, MCT yeah. oily? It not as bad, okay, but right. it is a little it oily. Molasses -y. Yeah, okay. Ooh, it does. All right, let's go. It smells like a I definitely like the chunks in this. I like the chew. Oh, they're nuts? Yeah. The flavor is not really strong not in prominent. one direction right. or another, but uh -huh. it is pleasant to eat. I'll say yeah, that. Yes. I'll agree. Mm -hmm. yeah. yes, not and that's a definite tier two. Like, I'll, I'll reach for that. I'll put that in the twos as well. Yeah. It's a tier two for me. Not too bad. 
two minus. Not too bad. <laughs> okay, and finally, what I am excited to try is this good to go bar cinnamon pecan. Oh, this is just going to be great. Like, good to go is one of my favorite bars ever. They are pillowy, delicious, you know, muffiny type things, and they're just good all around. Like I've never met a good to go bar that I absolutely are those do those not love. One thing? Yeah, these oh. are those one things, right? Oh, okay. Those those are look here, those lean in so they can see the rivets of just look four little individual break apart sections. Oh, yes. stuff? It's an unkit. That's, That's exactly what it is. Look, break, look at that That's perfectly that on that line. Perforation. You, what? Oh my gosh. What? This oh, is amazing, yeah. and I can definitely see the chunks of pecan in this. Flavors. This is cinnamon good. pecan. Let's go. Leg up. There uh -huh. we go. Mm. I mean, I like the density. No. Yeah. I mean, y'all did the dog on thing. Mm. Mm. <laughs> this is so good. Yeah. 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 One. One. Mm. One. 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 That's a tier me. one for me. Yes. Mm. Because. There is simply nothing like it. Like, I could make like a batch of muffins or something like that, and mm -hmm. maybe they'll taste like that, but to get it in a bar and cute little sections and a variety of different flavors that they have available on the website. What am I gonna say? Great with coffee. Yeah, great with coffee. Yes. Oh my gosh. Well, it is such a unique product yeah. that like, I absolutely love it. I'll have Man, to agree. Those yeah. are good to go. Yes. Ah, hence the name! Exactly. Okay, that was it. And that was the exact note that we needed to go out yes, on. Yes, we did. But, Ooh. I mean, honestly, this Kittle Crate was amazing. Yeah. Like, good to go. Amazing. These little puffs. Amazing. Intact snacks. Really good. Flackers. Really good. Sun Yum? Out of nowhere. Left field. Sun Yum. You know. Um, the beverages, on the other hand, left something to be desired. But... Still glad that we got them though. You know, still an interesting product to try. Really, really pleased. Yes, I yeah. Am yes. as well. And do you know who else is gonna be pleased? The person that wins their very own September Keto Crate. Oh who is God. that? And that person is. Oh! You are gonna be super, super impressed. Try the Sun Yum. It's better than you think. But if you weren't this person and you didn't win, don't worry because you can get a discount on your very first Keto Crate by using the link in the description box below. So like, definitely this is one of the crates to pick up in my opinion. <laughs> so many good things. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly full days of eating, monthly weigh-ins, monthly Keto Crate, and smash the crates. Yes, thank you for tuning in. Oh my gosh. And what else? See, I like this, but I mean, we have water you can also water. find me on Instagram, Facebook, yeah, and Patreon yeah, yeah, yeah. at Watch Autumn yeah. Keto. We'll see you next month, okay? Yeah. No, um, I, I do not give you permission to start using I the will, plus minus. Those are amazing. Okay. I like those tips. No, no, no. <laughs> I always like, oh, now mom, look who's not leaning in now. Which Chris from Keto Chow had a great idea. I, should, I just need to get like fans for you guys to like hold up cardboard over your face so that it auto focuses. <laughs> well, I was gonna say it would be our picture. But I know, right? It would be a picture. No, <laughs> it's <not. laughs> If it's your picture, it's still oh, going no. to think it's exactly. you. No, that we is are not. We cardboard and this that gorgeous. Is... <laughs> this would be Melted better. vanilla ice cream or? Vanilla ice cream? Melted vanilla. That's what it's it looks like right now. No, it's this looks like so. cement. Um, bye. Oh, bye. Oh no, it's goodness. you ruined it. No, oh it's over. No. All right. <laughs> bye. Still tugging it up. <laughs> Absolutely. 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 Absolutely.